hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add archive and unarchive button in odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 14 development tutorials so what we will be discussing in this video is that suppose if i go to the contacts menu and if I open any of the contact and if you click on action button you have the option to archive the record so you can see you have the option to archive the record so right now if I come back to the tree view here you can see you have got around 56 contacts in this database suppose take a case where you don't need to show or where you don't need to patient you don't need to have this contact again in this database simply you can mark it as archived so if you check here here we have a patient called sorry if here we have a contact called marine and let's assume a case you need to archive it so simply what you can do right now you have 56 contacts and if you click on this and if you click on archive are you sure that you want to archive this record okay then you can see marine will be archived and if you come back to the tree view you will be seeing only 55 records and if you search for marine you will not find her that is actually marine is not deleted from the database but simply we have archived and if you need to find marine what you have to do you have to filter archived records so if you check the archived records you can see marine is there so this is how archived is working so let's show one more case so let's archive open wood so if i need to archive open wood you can simply click on archive then open wood open wood will not be available here if i search open wood it's not here and if you need to get that you have to filter archived and you can see open wood is here and if you click on here you can see you have the option to unarchive so once you click on unarchive it will be reverted and open would be open wood will be available here open wood will be available here if i search open you can see it's available here so let's see how we can add such a functionality inside our hospital module so if i go to hospital and let's go to the doctors so in hospital there might be some cases where doctors will be leaving the hospital like after some experience or after working couple of years the doctor is doctor can move to another hospital so in such cases we have to archive those doctors record we don't need to delete the doctor from the database because he have related appointments and his history will be there so we don't need to delete that record simply we have to archive so let's see how to add such an option inside the doctor's model so to add the option of archive and unarchive it's very simple simply you have to do simply you have to define a boolean field so if i go to the corresponding model so you can see the model is hospital dot doctor so i'll go to pycharm and this is my custom add-ons path that is dev folder and here you have the om hospital module so what i'll do i'll open the corresponding model that is hospital dot doctor so here you can see you have the model hospital dot doctor so what i'll do i'll define a field called active equal to fields dot boolean so i'll define a boolean field and simply i'll give string as active so simply i'll add a boolean field here so you have the option of archive and unarchive not only inside the form view you can get it from the tree view also so if i check here you will see the archive option here so right now you can see we don't have the archive option in the tree view so we have added an active button here so let's restart the service so what i have done is i have simply defined a boolean field of name active so you have to specify the name correctly you have to set it as active only active equal to fields dot boolean don't give any other name so you have to use the same name and i have restarted the service now let's go to the ui and let's upgrade the module so i'll duplicate this tab you will be getting error because we haven't upgraded so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll up upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials so you can see the module has been upgraded in the database now i'll go back to the hospital and then to the doctors and if i switch to the 
yeah you can see no records is getting visible now because every for every record is false you can see initially we are having this much records so right now you can see no records is seen here because everyone is getting archived so you have to filter active equal to false so you can see all the records has been archived because once you define the field you have to set the default value as default equal to true so what i'll do i'll just upgraded the default value as true and what i'll do let me unarchive all these records so from here you can select the records and you will have archive and unarchive the option so i'll do one thing i'll unarchive all the records so right now if i come to the doctors you can see all the records so once you define new field set the default value as true else all your records will be getting archived initially so you can see right now we have one two three four five records so let's assume a case philip copy or i'll change his name uh, ram i'll give the name as ram and let's take a case where dr ram has resigned so we decide we can archive this record so i'll go to the tree view i'll select ram and i'll click on archive so once you click on archive you will not see ram in the database and if you go to the patients or if you go to the appointments and if you try to create a new appointment and if you search for ram you will not find ram here that is active records will not be displayed here so in order to get the ram what you have to do you have to filter active equal to false then you can see ram so once you, then you can you have to unarchive ram so in order to unarchive select ram and click on unarchive so once you set it as unarchive you will be getting a ram here so cancel and if you search ram now you will be finding it so in the search view or in the many to one only the active records that is for the records that for having active equal to true will be displayed so right now we have five doctors and let me archive ram again so let me select ram and i'll archive this record so we will have only four records and you will be noting one thing we don't have the archive button inside the form view so in the action button still we don't have archive but in the list view we have the option so you are not getting that option inside the form view because you have to add active field inside your form view so what i'll do is that inside the doc doctor form view so i'll go to the views and here i have doctor view.xml so inside the doctor view what i'll do i'll define the active field field name equal to active so active and i'll keep it as invisible invisible equal to one so once you add this in the form that is once you add active field inside the form view you will get archive and unarchive option here inside the form view so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials module so if you haven't got this module just you can download it from the odoo app store we are giving the link to the app in the description section so the module has been upgraded now let me refresh the screen and if you click on here you can see archive option so i'll click on archive then it get archived you can see you have only three records and if i filter archive active equal to false you have james here and you can unarchive so this is how you can add act archive and unarchive option in odoo version 14 simply what you have to do you have to define an boolean field with name active set default value as true and in order to get archive and unarchive option in the form view simply define an invisible field in the form view with the same name so this is how we can add archive and unarchive option in odoo version 14 and also once you add this just don't forget to add a filter here like we have seen in the contacts so if you go to the contacts here you can see a filter for archived so let's copy this sample and let's add a filter here for archive so let me first activate the debug mode so i'll go to settings and from here i'll activate the debug mode and if i come back to the contacts and let me click on edit control panel view and let me search the filter so here you have the corresponding filter so what i'll do i'll copy this 
copy and I'll put it inside the doctor's search view. So if I go outside, I hope we have defined. Yeah, this is the corresponding search view. So here I'll put that thing that is separator and I'll put it here. That is, I'm going to add a new filter to filter archived records that is archived domain must be active equal to false so let me restart and let me upgrade the module so from here i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll upgrade the uru 14 development tutorials so let's wait until the module is upgraded yeah that's done now let me go back to hospital doctors and you will have a new filter called archived so if I click on archive, you can see RAM is coming. So this is how we can add archive bar and archive option in Odoo version 14. So if you have any queries, feedbacks or suggestions, don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us and ask your doubt in social medias like a LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.